This video will demonstrate how to use Wago 750 series remote I.O. with an Ethernet IP master. And we're just going to connect a patch cable between the Wago coupler and the Compact Logics L32E processor. Alright, we're just going to wire up a couple field devices for this demonstration. We've got an indicator lamp, proximity switch, and a flow meter. And got a uh, two-channel digital output. We're going to wire it straight to the I.O. module. One of the big advantages of the I.O. system is the uh, commoning connections right on the I.O. system so you don't have to have um, your, your standard uh, 24 volts and common uh, terminal blocks. Um, also for the analog devices um, and also your uh, three-wire and four-wire sensors, you have a convenient place to land those wires right on the I.O. system. So here I'm wiring up the proximity sensor on the digital input. And now we're going to wire in the flow meter, which is a 0 to 10 volt. We also have these um, commoning modules that provide a 24 volt and common potential to, uh, again, just simplify the uh, installation. And just need a little jumper here to tie in the reference potential to our 24 volt common plane. Now we're ready to set the IP address of the 881 and here we're just going to set the last octet to a 3 which would be 192.168.1.3 for the default. And I'm going to power up the node. So now we're going to go and change the IP address to something different using the web browser. I'm just going to navigate to the 192.168.1.3 that we just used go to the TCP page, log in with admin Wago, and then I'm going to change the IP address to uh, 192.168.4.3 and you could change this to anything you'd like at this point. Then I want to go down to the ports tab and enable the Ethernet IP and disable the Modbus TCP. At this point we can actually program our Ethernet IP master. We're going to first go into the um, addressing tool and uh, calculate what the addresses are based on the I.O. on this node. I've got an 880 and a digital in, digital out, and analog in, analog out. I'm just going to select the modules that I have um, on this node. You can also calculate these uh, manually. Um, basically it just maps the analog uh, values first and then uh, maps the digitals on the first available word after that. Um, sometimes it's nice to, on a big node, to have it a tool to do that. So these are your Ethernet IP assembly instances, so just make note of that. Then we're going to go and create a new project for our AB controller. We're going to add a generic Ethernet IMP module. We're going to change the COM format to SINT. And then here we're going to enter in the uh, instance assembly instances for our node with the right size. Just going to give it a name, set the IP address to what we used before. And we're going to go online and just make sure that uh, we are making communications. So you can see we're online, the I.O. is OK, and um, you can see the input changing. Now we're just going to add a little bit of logic to our program. I'm going to go into the uh, program tags and create a few aliases. Um, to reference our remote I.O. that we have here. I'm going to make one for our proximity switch input and add another one here for our lamp output. And then one for our flow meter. So then in our main routine, we're going to uh, add some ladder here. If we sense a proximity switch, then we're going to drive the output. And I'll add a rung here, and we'll just do a compare for our flow meter uh, just against uh, some arbitrary number 10, so we can, um, or 20, sorry, and uh, we'll toggle an output and create a new tag here called flow alarm. 
and we'll tag that to the second output. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and save this and download it. And now we're ready to actually test the uh, remote I.O. So here I've got the proximity sensors driving the output whenever it senses it. This really demonstrates how fast the field bus is between the Ethernet IP master and the WAGO remote I.O. Every time that sensor is tripped, uh, the logic's actually being done in the control logics, and you can see it on the uh, lamp output. And here I'm just going to spin the flow meter, and you'll see that second output come on. And that concludes this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks.